Hello everyone and welcome to episode 55 of the Kyoki Pura series here on the channel, local global series using TW2020 as uh, we are about to run the Lucid Nightmare show. As uh, before we get to that though, we do have a backstage incident to go through. So let's see. Ah, it's Kira Claiborne. All right. Then she gave a, the locker room a lift when she provided a crate of free drinks for everyone. Way to go. Kira Clap. She's making probably like 30 bucks a show. And she's buying a crate of drinks for everyone. It's not how you fucking manage your funds there at all. As uh, for this show. Main event's going to be a, ti a national title matchup. Aztec Prince going to take on Nami Genda. And then Koji Yamamoto is going to take on Mercury, and that should be a high spots matchup. As uh, we'll go through kind of everybody else once we get to the actual card, but we'll start with those two matches first. Uh, really, I don't think there's only going to be one angle on this show. It's going to be a Kyoki Pro, uh, wait, uh, Waiko promo. Jesus Christ! As uh, they're just going to be like the losing stops here. You know, this is. After tonight, this is where Waiko, we're, we're climbing back to the top of the mountain of Kyoki Pura is their big thing for that promo, really. As Aztec Prince, national title match against Nami Kenda, which a uh, pretty, pretty solid matchup on paper. Should be really, really good. We're going to give it a little bit of time just for now, but Aztec Prince is going to get the, the win retaining his championship. He's done a great job. Really, this first national title reign has done wonders for, i think for that oh, wow she is pissed we might not make it decisive let's just kind of see yeah still pissed all right boy oh boy <laughs> we might might do a title change all right she's cool with it yeah just let's make sure that's fine and then uh the koji yamamoto mercury matchup which this should be really really good i mean two new newish debut guys and uh, they've been killing it so far really mercury i think is going to get the win here obviously because koji yamamoto not gonna be a great night for uh the legion of love but koji yamamoto i don't think is on the same wavelength as uh mercury as mercury could be a fucking heavyweight champion when it's all said and done he can be a kyoki piero or a national champion as uh, where's the fucking there we go i spot some match i will just keep it 10 minutes but pretty good matchup on paper and that's kind of where it the drop off happened does a stunner. Seiku is going to take on uh, Park Ming Soup as the Korean kickboxer. He's went on a bit of a tear, but I think it's going to, you know, taking an actual wrestler kind of beats him here. As, uh, but I mean, still be a pretty good matchup. Uh, stunner should be able to carry him to at least um, a mid 40s, hoping for at least. And then I believe it's a Cloaked and Shadows Waiko tag match. Yep. That is correct. And then Aki Kamiya is going to take on Kira Claiborne. So, yeah, then, you know, and she's going to beat Kira there. This is just going to be a great night for Waiko. You know, bouncing back, getting a nice win. Cloaked in shadows. Taking the fall. Uh, no surprise. Kind of wild that it's been, oh, well, I guess not so long. But it's since, you know, with them not being a part of Dark Agents, first time they faced each other at, uh, you know, be, not being a part of Dark Agents. So that's just kind of. Fun to see that, but Kaito Doan's gonna get the win. Uh, we don't really have a death match lined up, which it's not great. But uh, you know, maybe we'll change something. Maybe we'll add a death match because we're we're pretty good on time. And then Naki Kamio, Kira Claiborne. I just kind of see. So yeah, Latin Kings aren't booked. Uh, Ant Man's not booked, which is fine. But uh, we might do Roku and Kenji Akamatsui. Could be something. So, Aki Camille getting the win there. So, I think we're going to have a good bit of time left after this match. Yeah. So, yeah, we can do a death match. For Kenji Akamatsui in Ryoku. Match history. That's uh, June of 2023. So, it's been a long, long time. On down to about five minutes. Yeah, I like that. Nice little. Oh, yep. And then. Yeah, man. Gets to at least do that. I need to cut one extra minute. Now, let's cut it off this. Weirdly enough, I'll just have it be a nine minute match. So, the promo. 
Well, we might actually cut back on this Aztec Prince now and begin to match them. I'm thinking about, ah. Now let's add. Let's make that. Tough on time. Yeah, we're really, uh, we'll make this eight minutes. There we go. Now the promo. For White Co. That's three minutes. The losing stops tonight. For Waiko. So, yeah, all, all three of them. Aki Kamiya with Kaito and Yuta Sano. Nice little promo. To start off the show. Ah, yep, I was wrong on time. I was thinking, I was like, I think it's two. Two, and I should have went with that. Nice little save. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I like the card. It's uh, putting over, again, a lot of the newish talent. Uh, you know, I might actually make this death match. I might actually put it here. Which that's... Ah... Uh, man, oh man. I think we're gonna have... I think we put it... That's... Uh, kind of don't want... I want to have a break in between the death match. And I think that's... That's a lot better. I like that a lot. It's so losing. Stops tonight. Let's just kind of see. Yeah, I figured it was just death matches. Maybe we could do a pre-show match with somebody. Let's just kind of see Ray Snow and Marco. It's fine by me. Don't... Th oh, yeah, I was about to say. I think we did that at uh, Wild Night Osaka. So I got a 31. I think we're going to do... Um, I think we'll do him and Hector instead. Just to kind of see what... uh. What can happen here in this pre-show match? I'm just getting them on the card. It's a bit unhappy with it. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have Hector get the win. Because I think he's going to outperform him anyways. But it's no big deal if he uh, doesn't. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, and, and Ray still does outperform him. So Hector gets the win in 10-12 with the Shooting Star Press. Yeah, you know, that's not a, not a bad performance. Yeah, that definitely could have been on the main show. I think it's going to be better than a uh, good bit of these matches, actually, on the main show. Like, it's going to be better than the Aki Kamiyo, uh Kira Claiborne match, for sure. Maybe even the tag, if uh, Kaito Doan and Yuta can carry. Cloaked in shadows. The yeah, problem gets a 47. The losing's going to stop tonight for Waiko. They, they're putting a stop to it. As uh, Kira did her part, she beat, uh, or uh, Aki Kamiya beat Claire, uh, Kira Claiborne. She did her part as uh, she gets the one with the victory roll. As, uh, yeah, 34, 35 for Aki Kamiya, 31 for Kira Claiborne. Is what it is, but we had to tell our story <laughs> for uh, Waiko coming back and bouncing back after having a, a bit of uh, some losing ways. Yeah, the death match is a 29. Ryoku gets carried by Kenji Akamatsui in four minutes with the eruption. 38, not great. Not great, not great. I'm assuming it's, uh... Let's go to the dirt sheet. Uh, yeah, trying to go all out. Low morale. Oof. Eh? Could have been worse. But Kenjak wants away getting the win. It's 45, wow. Yeah, so Kaito and Yuta doing their part as Kaito Doan. Getting the win with the stretch muffler over Prowler. As a Prowler's off his game. Got a 23. So, Waiko bouncing back, getting a big win there. As uh, you know, we're looking to take on the Legion of Love and also have, uh, Hector and uh, Carlos Gonzalez. Our tag division, it's, uh, it's actually coming together really, really well. I think that really helps us out when we can have a pretty good tag division there for a while. When, uh, you know, when Waiko was really just carrying it, and uh, that's fine, you know, but then once we got the Latin Kings involved, which, even then, we were trying to use Marco and Carlos instead of Hector and Carlos, and that's, that teaming's a lot better, plus we didn't have, uh, Nami Ginda wasn't teaming there for a hot minute with anybody, and now that Kujiamoto's there, it's coming together, it's coming together, we're really trying to bounce back and make some new stars, it's another 45, as a stunner Saku getting the win with the Twisting Face Crusher in 915 is a 46. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And a 50 for the high spots matches. Yeah, Mercury with a 50. 40 for Koji Yamamoto's Mercury getting the one with the Mercury Rising and Den 14 for in our co-main event. Great win there. And our main event. It's very, very close. But Nami Ginda 
comes up short as uh, Megan, his third defense of the Kyoki Pure National title. Aztec Prince getting the win at 1606 with the triple power bomb. Huge win there, and I think he's going to take on Stunner Siaku, who's going to be his next uh, defense. That's the way it's looking like. As, uh, yeah, I, I think that's a hell of a performance there. Would have loved a 50, but uh, 49's not bad. The death match just killed it. We could have, should have just left that fucking match off. But, uh, it's what it is. You know, we, we really need to add... I think we could probably bring in another death match first. And I think, you know, the, like, uh, Kimi, uh, Kimi Kawano, I think it's been so long since he's left us that we could probably bring him back. And now that he's, he's probably over... <laughs> over our feud with him, I'm uh, I'm just assuming, but I mean you know Aztec Prince and uh, Nami Gina, they deserve a lot of praise as as Mercury as uh, really those three really really helped us getting into the fifties there. Well, I mean Waiko though with that promo really helped us out, and, uh, but I think we're gonna add. I think the next show, which I mean we're getting to uh, the Super Show Destruction is coming up. So that's, uh, you know, we gotta look look to that and try to build something big up for that show. As, uh, really right now, just kind of getting everybody new in and trying to build them up. And now that we're, we're getting to that point, uh, there have been a couple of shows now that we've used those guys. I think, you know, uh, we got the Highway Destruction, though, to really help us out now. So I think that's a, a great way to really add to the schedule as well. Having the Highway Destruction and the Super Show Destruction. I think it's just really going to help us out a whole lot. But yeah, I mean, it should be pretty fun. Should be pretty, pretty fun. I think we're actually going to do... Maybe have a, a number one contendership matchup to take to see who takes on Ant-Man. Maybe either a triple threat or four-way. Maybe just a one-on-one -on -one match. I think that's what we're going to go with. Uh, but we shall see, though. Should be pretty, pretty exciting to see how everything plays out. As I uh, will catch you guys next time for uh, more Kyoki Pure action. Take care, everyone.